We celebrate Republic Day of Indian on 26 of January. And the parade is the primary appeal for of the Republic Day that starts from the Rajput and finishes at the Mataram. Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. आजादी दूंगा सुभाष चंद्र बोस स्वतंत्रता हमारी जन्मसिद्ध अधिकार है और मैं इसे लेकर रहूंगा बाल गंगाधर तिलक किसी भी कीमत पर स्वतंत्रता का मोल नहीं किया जा सकता वह जीवन है भला जीने के लिए कोई क्या मोल नहीं चुकाएगा महात्मा गांधी ാണ് <laughs> 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 I love my India Jai Hind Jai Bharat Ae vatan vatan mere aabad rahe tu Ae vatan vatan mere aabad rahe tu Main jahan rahu jahan main yaad rahe tu Ae meri zameen afsoos nahi jo tere liye sa dard se mehfooz rahe teri aan sada chahe jaan meri ye rahe na rahe tu A warm welcome to one and all present here. This is Nidish J of Grade 10A. Firstly, Happy Republic Day. This year, on January 26, 2022, India celebrates its 73rd Republic Day. In 1950, on this day, the Constitution of India came into existence. Republic Day is celebrated to remember the historic moment when our nation became an independent republic country. As we all know that India got its independence on 15th August 1947 and the country didn't have its own constitution. Instead, India was governed by the laws implemented by the British. However, after many deliberations and amendments, a committee headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a draft of Indian constitution which was adopted on 26 November 1949. and officially came into effect on 26 January 
on the same day dr rajendra prasad also began his term as the first president of india and the constituent assembly began the parliament of india under provisions of the new constitution i want to end this speech by saying that india is a democratic country the citizens living in a democratic country enjoys the privilege to elect their leaders to lead the country so one thing we all can do is to promise each other that we will become a better version of ourselves so that we could contribute to solving all these problems and making our nation a better place thank you jai hind happy republic day republic day speech republic day is celebrated to remember the historic moment when our nation became an independent republic country as we all know that india got its independence on 15th august 1947 and the country did not have its own constitution instead india was governed by the laws implemented by the british ever since independence the main celebration of republic day has been held at the national capital new delhi at the rajpath in the presence of president prime minister and other high ranking officials of india As a tribute to India, a Republic Day ceremonial parades take place at the Rajpath. Ten lines on Republic Day. Every year, India celebrates its Republic Day on 26th January. It is the national festival of India. On this day in 1950, our constitution came into effect. This year in 2022 will be celebrated to 17th of Republic Day of India. On 26 January, the President of India holds the national flag in New Delhi. It is the first time when Republic Day celebration will be very short and simple due to pandemic situation. A big parade is held at India Gate in New Delhi. Republic Day is celebrated in schools and college with full enthusiasm and joy. The presidents give award to the brave soldiers and people on this day. The Republic Day teaches us to live in unity and peace. Thank you. A pleasant good morning to each and every one present here. This is Shreya Hakim of Class 8C. Today I am here for saying a few sentences about Indian Republic Day. Today is 26 January and of course today is that day. So first of all, Happy Republic Day to each and every one. We all wish us everyone by the gods. But do you know what is the real speciality of this day? Yes, of course. In this day before 73 years ago, the constitution of India came into effect. Do you know who took effect for all these? Yes, of course, it's Dr. B or Ambedkar. He is the father of Indian constitution. He was an Indian jurist, economist and social reformer who fought economic and social discrimination. With Dr. Ambedkar, there were six more people who helped in drafting committee. They were Alade Krishna Swami Iyer, N. Gopala Swami, K. M. Munshi, Muhammad Sadullah, B. I. Mitter, and D. P. Kaitan. So I'm going to start from here. Thank Good you. Good morning, respected principal, teachers, and all my dear friends. My name is Deepi and I am here today to speak a few words about Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose was one of the greatest leaders of India. He is famous by the name Netaji and he gave up his life for his motherland and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January 1897 in Cuttack. and his father janki nath bose was a famous lawyer and his mother prabhavati devi was a devout and religious lady and netaji was a brilliant student who had scored the second position in the matriculation exam and he completed his ba honors in philosophy in 1918 from the university of calcutta He later went to England in September 1919 for further studies and he was selected for the Indian civil service but he didn't want to stay in England and serve the British government so he quit his job and started fighting for the freedom of India 
The Azad Hind Fauj was formed by Subhash Chandra Bose and he coined the term Jai Hind and his powerful personality inspired many people into the freedom struggle and continues to inspire Indians. It is believed that he died in a plane crash on 18th August 1945. Though Netaji is no more in this world, yet his name will ever shine. He will always be counted as one of the greatest leader of the country. Thank you and happy Republic Day. Respected Prince Parliament teachers and all my dear friends, today I am here to share a speech on special occasion. Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January every year. It is celebrated to show the respect to our Indian Constitution. The Indian Constitution came into effect on 26th January 1950 and Indian became an independent republic country. This day is celebrated to show respect to the freedom fighters who demanded for the Constitution of India on the 26th January 1950. India became a secular, democratic and republic country. Though Republic Day is a national festival in India, school and colleges celebrated this day with a patriotic seal. The main festival of this day is celebrated at the Radical New Delhi in of the President of India. At, at, at the spot, many activities like flag hoisting and parade and perform on this day. Government and private institutes and organizations stay close on this day as this is the national holiday. This day spreads the message of freedom and solidarity are over India. We remember our national hero of freedom fighters and soldiers who sacrificed their life for India on this day. Hello, I am Fida from class 8C. So now I am going to say a short speech about APG Abdul Kalam sir. Aul Pakir Jainal Abdul Abdul Kalam was an Indian aerospace scientist who served as the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. He was born and raised in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu and studied physics and aerospace engineering. Good morning, respect.